I am from Northern Ireland. I'm David Cartmill. Um, the programme I'm on is for students going at, who would be going into their final year at home. They've just finished their second year. Uh, it's paid for by the British Council, um, which sends 75 Northern Irish students to 75 separate universities in the US. Um, basically just to give us this, and it's a business program, so it's meant to give us a business knowledge in a different environment. When I arrived, I had like four or five different people, like my international assistant, um, I had my soccer coach and Miami, the director of international education, and people in the house, in the international house here, um, all welcoming me. And Randolph Megan is in a small town, um, and I'm from a big city, but I really like it because in the city, our campus is just amongst other private housing. Um, you know, my neighbours, they don't go to my university. Um, it's nice because there's a, lot of the, there's a lot going on around the city. But here, it's like a small, small college. Like, everyone knows each other, so you can just kind of go for food and you'll see people you know. Um, everyone's, everyone's really friendly and says hi, and like, the campus is really, really nice. Um, but then you also, we have Richmond, I think 20 minute drive away. Um, and we've got the train going through here, so like you're really well linked up to the cities anyway, because from, from Richmond, which is the capital of Virginia, then you have like cheap buses and stuff going to Washington, New York. Um, so you can do either, it's really nice. It's nice for internationals. Um, people here, you know, they're interested in your story. Obviously, we've got International Education Week going on right now, um, which has a lot of programming. Just there, I think there's maybe about 20 internationals here, um, probably more even. And you know, a lot of us are just bringing our own cultures to the college, which is it's really nice. Just I I love speaking to internationals because they have like just the various backgrounds we all have. It's just so interesting to learn how how people live it in their homes anyway. My home is up here in Belfast, which is in Northern Ireland, which is basically Ulster, except these three counties aren't in it. So you can see the dotted line, I think, kind of going around. Northern Ireland, um, it's pretty small, 1.8 million people. The capital city is Belfast, and pretty much everything in Northern Ireland um, revolves around Belfast. And then I just show you like the comparison of, because like our living here is like really cool, I think, for our students. Um, but this is sort of like what students would live in at home. Um, the roads are like really narrow because obviously, yeah, I guess like all cars were just tiny. Um, so and then you can see that the cars are all like hatchback cars, which the Europeans would be more used to. Um, the cars you guys have here, uh, no one would have them. It'd be really nice to have. And you can see a little mini. But yeah, that's like that's where my house is. Well, that was my last one. And this is obviously a lot nicer because they're like, I think they've been there since before the World Wars. At Randolph Macon, unlike at home because I'd only be studying economics, I've been able to study Spanish, um, which I'd like to do at home, but I don't really have the time usually. And then I've had a chance to do a sort of computer science course, um, which brings in like applications that you're going to use in business which I've found really practical as well. And then apart from that, I've just furthered my economics study.